hiding today <laughs> you look beautiful miss Laura <laughs> well I got a call yesterday morning and it was pretty early and it was Beth and she said we're having a baby so I'm not sure Patty do we have a baby not yet, not yet. okay so she was excited, but she came by yesterday and she fixed all these beautiful roses and we will do the rose thing too. But uh, I also wanted to talk a little bit about Mother's Day. You know, my mama is one of my very best friends still to this day. And she still fusses at me and she still tells me she's gonna bust my tail. <laughs> but it's usually when I'm having her do something she doesn't really want to do. <laughs> but uh, I know Noah's not ready for this yet. But Laura, did you do anything like this in school this week? Did you make a card? Yes. Maybe. I did one for my mama and my Gigi. You did? Oh. Awesome. You know, we do these things. And Mother's Day, and Mary Beth will tell you this too, when our kids at school come in and we give them a piece of paper and they fold it and they make a happy Mother's Day card and their mamas think it's the most beautiful thing in the world. But did you know that you can show your mom and your grandma and your Gigi and everybody that you love them every single day? How, can you, how could you think you could? What do you think you could do? There you go, a hug. Noah, how do you show your mama you love her? Smile. You smile, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> he knows how to smile. He can laugh out loud now. And he loves his mama. When his mama talks, do you know what he does? He turns his head to look for her. And that shows her that he loves her. Just like when you hear your mom's voice or grandma's voice and you look, they know you love them. And we can do what they ask us to do. Yeah, like when you play hide and seek. Do you ever do what they ask you to do, like pick your toys up? That also tells them that you love them. Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes you do. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I did too. Sometimes I'd shove it under the bed. And then on Saturday mornings, my mama would come in with a, a broom and start dragging it out. And it was usually when I was asleep. I want to read a Bible verse to you, and it's from John, 1 John 4, 9 through 11, and verse 12, 21. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. And he has given us this command. Whoever loves God must also love his brother or his mother or his sister or his uncle, grandpa, friends, anybody, right? We're supposed to love everybody. And Jesus expects for us to do that. Now, every year that I have been here at Trinity on Mother's Day, we have had beautiful, beautiful roses. And I think Miss Nancy Tony is the one who had this tradition going. And in honor of her, memory of her, in honor of her mama right there, I'm going to invite each of you that would like to come and get a rose and you can either give it to someone, take it to someone, place it in the vases. If you have mothers that you'd like to 
honor by their memory or just because they're not here right now, you're welcome. And you know, a mom doesn't always have to just be a lady. Sometimes dads get to be moms too. Sometimes dads love us just like our mamas do. And in this world today, we need all the people that we can have to love and hopefully get love from them as well. So to all of you out there, happy Mother's Day. May God bless each one of you. May God bless you as you travel. And always know that God loves each one of us unconditionally, sort of like our mamas do. That's it. Yeah, you can direct that because I have no clue. <laughs> Patty Robbins is a good director. She can get up and direct them. Yeah, we don't want a collision. <laughs> Patty can come and direct. Come and let's have a prayer real quick. Father, we just give you thanks for the members in this church and for all that they mean to each of us. Help us that we can follow your your. Uh, promise that uh, you love us always and that we need to love like you do. We need to have love in our hearts and offer it to our neighbors and our friends and our parents and just everyone. Thank you so much for loving us. Amen. Amen. Be 